Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to the first map showcase of this channel. I am planning on uploading a map showcase every single Friday from here on out. Basically every Friday you can come back to the channel and see what map was showcased. If you guys would like to submit a map of your own, make sure to upload it to mods-unturned.com and personal message me the link. But anyway, in terms of this episode, the first map that we are showcasing is an awesome map called Quarter City, made by Selthric Asin. And this is an extremely unique map because as you can see in the screenshots on the screen right now, it is completely focused on detail rather than size. So like, uh, Wickerville was like a massive map and that was kind of the, the main thing that made that awesome. Um, Quarter City is a medium sized map. But what makes this unique is that every city, every single major location is completely decked out with all sorts of detail when it comes to it. So it looks awesome. It looks like an apocalypse. Everything's been taken over. Everything's been abandoned. It looks awesome. So I can't wait to jump right in there, show you guys around. It is currently a work in progress, so there are some things missing. Uh, but nonetheless, there is still stuff that we can jump in there and look at, and I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the workshop. Go into quarter city here it is if it gives you an idea a medium sized map is the same exact size as the PEI map so um, pretty uh, solidly sized and look at that loading screen look at that main city like that is awesome look at how much detail there is in there so as we spawn in we get to look at the beautiful sun rays beaming through the clouds but uh, I'm gonna turn it to broad daylight so that way we can view everything a little bit better that is very nice right there. We are already spawned in the flagship city. This is the only city currently in this map, but there is of course um, other things in other locations where things can be added. Like there's this unfinished bridge. Uh, there's a city over here, which like a dock and stuff. Uh, stuff will be added there, over here. Maybe stuff be added over here. There's a whole load of potential right here, but of course a lot of his work has been spent on these individual locations as of right now. So where to start? I think we should start at the main city and then we can move off to the tunnel and like the mechanic shop and the gas stations and bridges and all that stuff. But let's just look back and just look at the freaking detail that is in this map. We have grass growing through the cracks in the roads. We have paintings on the wall, which also, by the way, this map does contain custom models. It comes in the download, so when you download it, it will automatically apply it to the game and um, it'll apply it into this map. So I think like things like that dead are walking and um, I, if I find anything else, I'll, I'll point it out, but I think that's the only one that I currently see as of right now that's a custom model. But anyway, in terms of all the major cities, they are designed with the intention of it being played as a multiplayer experience compared to a single player experience. Um, there are a lot of things to hide behind, a lot of alleyways to walk through, and it creates a, a pretty solid PvP experience. So this would be a whole lot of fun to just have this whole map right here be a little PvP map, and that would be super cool. It would be like playing Call of Duty or something. But anyway, so let's just start up in the front and kind of just act like we're walking through this whole place. Um, so right up at the front, we have these like walls here, so that way you can head glitch on these uh, these pallets, and so that way you can shoot over them. Very cool. There's just so much detail. Look at like this dumpster has got trash in it. We got cardboard boxes. We got bricks, rebar sticking out. Uh, more cardboard boxes, mannequins, couches, stoves, all that stuff. Like the attention to detail on this map is phenomenal. It is amazing. So let's go inside the police station, see what we can find in here. I'm going to see real quick if there are item spawns. I'm assuming there probably isn't, uh, but we can always see. Oh, yep, there is. Oh my god. All right. That is interesting. What about zombies? Are they zombies? Yep, there are zombies too, and there are a whole lot of them. Anyway, so the, in terms of this city, it is fully playable, so you can go right in on single player and walk around here. That could be some fun. But anyway, so uh, into the police station, you got these uh, chairs. It's kind of hard to walk around in here, but you got these chairs, tipped over TV, in the little prison cell. The door has been knocked down, the prisoners escaped, and there's some bricks and chairs in there. Um, so that's the police station. There's a lot of stuff on the roof, too. Looks like there's some a gambling table or something right there. Some TV, stuff like that. A little outpost for uh, survivors that they were assuming probably living up there. Ladder to get up there, too. I'm not sure if that's climbable in single player, but anyway. 
Uh, there's a ladder right there. It looks like there's this tunnel that's like going into the ground but has been blocked off. That's really cool looking. Like look at there's overgrowth on that barrel like that is that's some pretty solid detail. But anyway coffee machine and some pot machines and stuff like that. Very cool. Uh, that, so that's the tunnel. There's a cool little parking lot right here. That's very cool. What's here? Oh, it's a wrecked little Jeep. Oh, I, oh, that's cool. Somebody uh, made a little uh, outpost here. I think that's what this is meant for. So like, I'm assuming this is probably like a little makeshift trading outpost for the survivors that were living, living in this town. There's a cash register and a toaster. And then there's like a, a little pallet bridge above the car and the tipped over shelf to make a little makeshift trading outpost in the parking lot. Um, lots of other details. There's rocks and, and bricks and stuff like that in here. Very cool. Oh, it looks like the... What is that? Is that a telephone pole? The pole seems to have crashed through the fence and landed in the... Uh, oh, no, that's a sign. Yeah, that's a Detective Riley sign. The sign fell down in the in the parking lot. Anyway, pretty cool. So, that yep, that's the parking lot. I think that's the parking lot for the grocery store. So, I guess we should look in the grocery store. All right, so in the grocery store... All the shelves have been knocked around and jostled around. There's a few item spawns in here. Pretty cool. You can go in here and find some items in the grocery store. Uh, so that was a grocery store. Let's see if we can move out. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to go through all these buildings, but we have a pretty good idea of how there's so much detail in everything. It is so amazing. Can you imagine if Wicker... Oh, that's a custom model. Anyway, can you imagine if, like, Wickerville, a map of that size, had this much detail? That would be amazing. But anyway, everything on the roof to inside the buildings out on the roads has been completely designed with the intention of being as detailed as possible. So it looks like that right there, Don't Trust the Army, is a custom model as well. And then in here, this medical tent is a custom model as well. So anyway, I think that was enough about the town. There's some residential buildings out here, some destroyed cars. Anyway, so uh, yep, that is the main town. That is just amazing. Anyway, uh, moving on, if you go just outside the main town, the mechanic shop will be just across the street. This has been completely decked out as well. If you look at this, we got the car with the trash bags, the steering wheel up on the hood, all this stuff up here. With this much deep detail, you might actually have to look closely to find items that are pick upable because, you know, item spawns are in here, of course, but uh, with that much detail like right there, um, finding like actual items in those spots could be pretty uh, interesting and challenging. Um, if you somehow manage to find a way into the mechanic shop, uh, maybe go through this little hole in the fence or something. There's a nice little set of goodies that you can find in there. Anyway, so that was the mechanic shop. Very cool. As you go down here, here is a tunnel that has been also blocked off, just like uh, that tunnel over there. But anyway, it's got a sign in it, it's got a crashed plane, it's got uh, concrete blocks and all that stuff. Very cool. I wonder how he made these, like... Are these just rocks? Are those? Yeah, I didn't know that those were in the game, but anyway, pretty interesting. So, uh, blocked off tunnel right there. I'm going to click homes, and that way it's not blocking your guys' view or anything. But all throughout the roads, he left it to where grass is able to grow on dirt and stuff like that. So that way it looks more apocalyptic uh, with the overgrowth going through the cracks in the road. As you continue down the road more and more and more, you reach a cool little gas station that also has been decked out just like everything else. Um, inside, there's a lot of goodies that you can find in here. Very cool. Big J Ecofuel signs, some more signs over here, some crates and rocks and stuff like that. Gas station has pallets and shelves and dumpsters and trash bags and all that stuff. Ladder up to the roof as well, and of course, the roof has not been forgotten. Looks like this was a survivor's home at one point with the stove and radio and chairs and stuff like that. Pretty cool, and I think that is it for the gas station. There's a bridge over here that's uh, also completed as well. It's got the supports and stuff like that. If you guys are wondering how you can make a bridge like this yourself, I will put the tutorial video down below. This is pretty cool. Looks like a car almost just crashed off the edge, but luckily the guardrail saved him. Some ladders going off here. Maybe if you want to climb up the ladder and jump off and kill yourself or something, uh, you can do that. Uh, but once again, just like an, an example of detail that's been paid attention on something as simple as a bridge, like I would think just to put down a bridge and kind of leave it at that, but the, he puts more like all this stuff here. That looks really awesome. But anyway, that was the gas station and the bridge. Over here is an unfinished city. 
um, but he has been working on the dock and stuff like that. I'm not sure if these are custom models or are these just a bunch of stacked things. Let me see real quick. Yeah, so it looks like this is a custom model, uh, which is pretty cool. So just little uh, things for the dock. Very cool. I will put that back. Anyway, so this dock has been filled with all sorts of crates and stuff like that. Um, of course, this is probably just the beginning of it. I'm sure this will all be filled with tons and tons of detail all over this house, on the inside, all over here. But I think with that, that is everything in this map so far. I cannot wait to see what kind of things are added into this map. There's so much detail and it's so awesome. And I think it's great how he also pays attention to the multiplayer aspect as well as single player, which is pretty cool because I think that's actually a pretty big aspect of Unturned as well, the PvP experience. But anyway, that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom. Zach.